What's good, what's good, what's good, my people? Shout out to the Most High, the God of Israel. Hope y'all doing well. I'm feeling phenomenal today. Let's dive into the video. Today we're talking about take action. When God gives you that revelation, take action. Don't procrastinate because tomorrow is not promised. Like, I feel like making this video right now. I've been recording them back to back just because tomorrow is not promised. Lord willing, I'm able to be here, but let's just say we may not be. We got to keep going. We got to keep going. We always have to just, when God puts that on us to make something and to create something or just to do something or to move, when he commands us to move, we got to move right then and there. Just like when God told Lot's wife not to turn around, she turned around, turned into a pillar of salt. Imagine what would have happened if she would have did what God wanted her to do. Take that little glimpse of what you will. But let's get into the video. First verse we're going to have about taking action is in James chapter 23 through 25. I'm going to put it on the screen right here. But pretty much what it's saying is don't just be hearers of the word, be doers of the word. So when you hear a good word in the church, on the on the YouTube, TikTok, you may hear somebody in the street say it to you. Man, if you feel like that word resonates to you and you deem what the Bible says is true, go ahead and apply that because I guarantee we're not living perfect. We're not doing everything. We may be doing some things right in life, but we're not doing everything right in life. Or if you're praying for something and you get a revelation, you're like, dang, this is what God wants me to do. Don't wait. Don't wait no week. Don't wait no month. Go ahead. Apply it right now. Because, look, you apply it right now, your life can be different in a month. Your life can be different in a week. Your life can be slightly different in a day. God's timing is unmatched. But we got to put in that work because faith without works is dead. You feel me? Think about faith like a, like a verb. Because I got faith that I'm about to take this next breath. Then I just took a breath, right? I had faith that that was going to happen. That's an action. I had to believe that. I got faith that my legs don't work when I'm walking. I got to put one leg in front of the other. Boom, boom, boom. That's faith. It's a verb. It's an action. Faith without works is dead. We got to take action. As much as we can pray and do all those things, those are great. Those are great. Continue to improve your relationship with the Most High. But at the same time, we got to work. We got to put in that work. We got to grind. The next verse is going to be in 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. Let's dive into it. It says, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed in truth. We have to move in truth and we have to move in work. Don't just be talking about what you're going to do. Don't just talk about what you're going to do and just boast your head up and get all prideful because pride comes before the fall. You know what I'm saying? When you really got something going, you ain't even got to tell nobody. You ain't got to tell everybody your next move. You can move in silence. You can shh and just pop out when the work is done. When the work is done, then you show your face. When the work is done, then you can talk about it. But don't talk about it before you did it because a lot of times when you talk about something before you did it, it can be great. You know what I mean? But we got a lot of people who are haters out here. They going to pray on your downfall. The same God you praying for to uplift you, they may pray to the same God or a different God a different guy, if you feel what I'm saying, to for your downfall. So you got to be cognizant about what we're saying and what we're putting out there. Check out my last video about the power in the words, the power in the tongue. But also, you got to be as gentle as a dove and wise as a serpent. And you also, you have to be wise with your tongue. You ain't got to always just close everything, man. Huh? The next verse going to be in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. This is a good one for y'all, too. I am really got the clip loaded up for y'all. I got the clip loaded up for scriptures, and I ain't talking about the blicky. I'm talking about that Bible. You feel me? We strapped up. We strapped up, locked, loaded, ready to go. You feel me? I've been putting that work for y'all. Let's get it. Been putting that work to get the downloads from the most high to translate this message because, look, these are not my words. I'm just a vessel. Now, I'm just merely sharing this with you all, but everybody's going to have a different understanding from what they grasp. But all in all... It all falls under the topic, take action. Take action today. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 states, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Come on now. Basically what that's saying is, do everything to the best of your abilities. It's a saying, how you do anything is how you do everything. So once you really start to get in this word, I can just attest to this. From reading the Bible more, I've seen how I just do everything. Like if I'm washing a dish, I'm trying to make that dish the cleanest dish. I can be sweeping up. 
I'm going to make that the best. I'll wash the car. I'm going to make that the cleanest car I'm doing. I'm editing the video. I'm trying to make that the best video that I've done. If I'm filming one, I'm trying to make that the best video that I've ever shot. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to articulate things the best way because, you know, once you die, you die. It's no, there's nothing you can't do. You can't go hard. You know, you, you, you don't have regret. You don't have anything because you're not here. You know, you're unalived. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why we have to do everything to the best of our ability. So when God gives you that revelation, go hard with it. Go hard with it. Stop playing with the opportunity because, look, the opportunity can change your life, your family's life, the people around you. You can help prepare the people around you to become winners. You don't just have to win, but you can make everybody in your circle, even if it's big or small, you can turn them into winners. God put that on you to put your people on, your team on, your spiritual family on, whatever it may be. But go hard. How you do anything is how you do everything. Remember that. I got one more verse for y'all. It's going to be in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 through 24. That verse reads, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of inheritance, for ye serve the Lord. That's a good one. You ain't doing it for the pleasures of men. You ain't doing this. You're not doing the work. You're not taking the action for just to get the claps from people. You know what I'm saying? You're not. That's vain. You're not doing this to get the booze because in Ecclesiastes, it talks about it's a time for everything. I know we're in Colossians right now, but in Ecclesiastes, it talks about there's a time for love and hate. So you doing it for men. They may love you one day and they may hate you the next. But if you do it for the Lord, you're going to be inherited. You're going to get that blessing. You're, gonna, you're not doing it for vain. You may not see what you're doing. You may not see the results right then and there, but anytime you plant an oak tree, you're not going to see the oak tree rise up into its grandiose development for some years. But that don't mean the oak tree is not a big tree. That don't mean the oak tree is not a prominent tree. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, there's going to be things that you just don't see happen, but you just got to keep grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding, Lord willing, as long as you are breathing and have lungs as long as you are breathing, have breath in your lungs, just keep going hard. Just keep going hard. Because, look, the Lord sees it. And you're going to bless you. Keep doing things for the Lord. Keeping him first. Seeking him first. Seeking the kingdom first. Like Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek the kingdom first and all his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. I'm going to recap the video just a little bit. Basically, all right here on the screen, I'm going to put all the verses that we went through. So that way, if you missed a few, you can write them down. Screenshot the video. But yeah, if you made it this far, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if God is putting something in your heart, if you got a business that you want to do, if you got something that you want to do for your husband, your wife, for your kids, something you want to do for yourself, you want to start a workout routine, start losing weight, gaining weight, whatever it may be, take action. As soon as God gives you that revelation on what to do, and as soon as he gives you that guidance, go ahead and take action on that. No need to procrastinate. And whatever you do, do it with all your might. But how you do anything is how you do everything. Shout out to the Most High, the God of Israel. I love y'all. Peace.